Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm going to be doing lots of deep cleaning videos. I'm doing a bit of a mini series because it's the start of the year and it's always nice to start afresh. And we're also due our new baby in three weeks time so I need to make sure the house is clean and decluttered and ready for another family member. This is just a bit of a preview on what you're going to be seeing in this video. I'm going to talk you through every bit of the deep clean and if you want to head over to my Instagram I'm going to be sharing a little checklist every day this week as I share a video to tell you what I have done for deep cleaning each room. So I'm starting off with the oven. I did give this a deep clean only a couple of weeks ago but I wanted to give it another shot because there were still a few marks in it. And I've just bought this new dishmatic which has a scourer head and I thought it would be perfect for cleaning the oven and scraping away without having to um, do it by hand as such, if that makes sense. I can also put in a bit of fairy liquid in the top and then I'm also going to use my Astonish oven cleaner um, just to try and pick up the grease. But there's a few marks in the oven that I have been trying to get off for ages and nothing has helped. So hopefully this will do the job. And the scourer technique definitely worked. Last time I did this, my hand just got too tired holding the scourer, but when you have the dishmatic, it just makes it a lot easier because you have the handle and mixed with the fairy liquid and the oven cleaner did manage to get those stains off so I'm pretty pleased with that result. And now I'm just moving on to the microwave which is nowhere near as dirty. I'm just using the same technique of the scourer and a dry microfiber just to wipe away the residue. Just to make it clear as well, I did use over 20 microfibers to do this deep clean so no need to worry about using the same cloth. I'm changing it constantly throughout the whole video. And for the front of the microwave, I have been loving using the Method Kitchen Cleaner. This is really, really good on stainless steel. The smell is called Pink Palermo and it is such a lovely smell. It's not as nice as the rhubarb one, but it works so, so well in the stainless steel. So we have went through a bottle of this really quickly because I've loved using it so much. The next part of this deep clean is to do the little jobs that I have been putting off for ages because they are just out of reach or just a bit of a pain. So I'm going up to, to get the slow cooker off the top of this cupboard and all the junk that's somehow accumulated up there. And I'm going to clean this top cupboard which nobody ever goes into. It's where we keep like some spices and some medicine. But I'm basically never in this cupboard and you're about to see an absolute shocker. I could not believe the state of this. There's spilt cough syrup and there's loads of dust from when the kitchen was first fitted and there was dust settling from holes being drilled in the wall. So yeah, this is embarrassing. It needs sprayed and cleaned straight away. Do not judge because the rest of my house is definitely not as filthy as this. So the scourer was just what we needed to get that dried in cough syrup off and thankfully this cupboard is back to normal. We've never painted the back of that for some reason but um, yeah at least it's clean and I can just restock it and put some other bigger items inside and stop them being out on show. So my plan for this deep clean is to do the clockwise clean and that just means you start at one point and just work your way around in a clockwise direction. Um, it kind of breaks up the tidying a bit so that you're not doing kind of all the surfaces at one coin or you're just doing different jobs throughout. Um, so I'm going to start off in this cupboard. This is just under the microwave and I'm just taking everything out, giving it all a wipe down with my method spray and stacking it back up in a better order. And just wiping down all the door fronts as well with a microfiber and the method spray. Next I'm just moving on to the door and just giving it a good spray 
and wiping down all the door frame. This probably does get neglected a bit too much um, when I'm doing my usual kitchen clean. So I'm just wiping it all down. I notice quite a lot that you do find if you have candles in the kitchen, it does tend to cling to any UPVC that you've got in the house. So this bit does actually need wiped down more often, I think. Um, so I'm just giving it a quick clean and I'm also doing the cat flap at the bottom and I'm doing the glass with some window lean. I also picked up this window washcloth thing, um, which I've never used before, but I'm giving it a go today. So it's not ideal that I am trying to do this deep clean while my kitchen isn't already tidied, but I'm just tidying as I go. And right now I'm going to start with these shelves. I'm going to take everything off and, oh my god, <laughs> I'm going to take everything off and just wipe it all down and probably rearrange it a bit because it's a little bit cluttered and just need sorted out. Next up it's time to do the windows, now I definitely don't give these enough attention usually because they're hard to get to so I'm actually getting up on the worktop now so that I can clean the top half of them and I'm just using my method spray around the edges as well just to get away any of the candle soot because we do quite often have candles sitting on this part of the window. I'm actually going to try this year to get rid of the candles in our house and just replace it with diffusers or wax melts just because of the amount of soot that I found around the house and it just makes you wonder how much you're breathing in and yeah it's not a very nice thing to find on your walls or around your windows especially if you've got a little one in the house. So I'm not a fan of that new window cloth I've switched back to this kind of nylon one which is made by Minky and it's just a lot nicer. So the next job is one that I don't even know how often you're supposed to do this but what I do know is that I never ever do it. I don't remember the last time I have. So I'm just emptying out the toaster crumbs. Um, I actually turned it upside down and then took out the plate underneath, which probably didn't make sense. But I've just swept up all the crumbs and I'm just giving everywhere a wipe over and just continuing round in the clockwise direction. I've actually just realized that I'm not going clockwise at all. I'm actually going anti-clockwise in this room, but the method is still there, it's still the same logic, it just means that you're doing different jobs all the time. And the one thing that I really love about it is that you can look back and see that half of the room is sparkling and clean and it keeps you motivated to get the rest of it done. And next up it's time to tackle this side of the kitchen which is looking less than appealing but I'm just having to dry these dishes and put them away. As I said before, deep cleaning is so much easier if you start with a tidy kitchen, but I have made this extra difficult for myself, hence why it took so long. So I'm just drying and putting away these dishes, I'm doing a couple more dishes and then I've got all the racks and the trays from inside the oven. I have deep cleaned these recently, but there's a couple of the trays which I didn't manage to get, so I'm going to use my scourer and hope that it works its magic and gets the last of the burnt food and stains and oil and everything off it. If you watch my video on five ways to deep clean then you'll probably agree that this way is a lot easier. I'm using the Dishmatic instead of just a hand scourer and although it still needs a lot of elbow grease this was a hard job to do. It definitely makes it a lot easier having the handle and having the fairy liquid as well just as a bit extra um, to try and get all the marks off. Luckily the smell of green fairy liquid has been one of my cravings this pregnancy so I definitely don't mind doing the dishes and giving it a wee scrub. And 
and here's my boy back from his walk. He's just coming on to say hello. I think he's wondering why the camera's on while mum's doing the dishes. <laughs> so I'm back to these windows and you can see why these don't get done as properly as they should normally because it's really difficult to get up there and get close to them. Um, but I pulled the blinds right up and I'm up on the worktop trying to clean the glass and I'm just using window lean and then a microfiber around the edges. I am even making the effort to do it, the bit of the window that is outside. I'm really, really scared of spiders, so you can see the disgust on my face. It really does freak me out, but it needs done. <laughs> so I've given this a wipe down and I'm just cleaning the inside of the windowsill as well. I'm really trying to declutter the house as well, so I've decided to take away the basket that I used to have by the sink and just have our hand wash next to these plants and keep it all a bit more minimal. So now it's back into the cupboards and I'm just emptying out all the mugs and glasses, spraying it down with Method Spray, cleaning it out and stacking them back up in a better order. So now I'm just moving on to the fridge, I'm just emptying out anything that is out of date or that has been in there for too long. Because it's been Christmas we actually haven't been eating in as much so um, there is a lot in there that we would throw away which normally we don't have to but we do tend to do that on a weekly basis and give the fridge a wipe down so there's not too much needing done here. And anyone with a toddler knows that you cannot open the fridge without them finding something that they want. So we have to stop for a second to get all of the little yogurt. So now I'm back to the sink with my soda crystals. I'm just pouring this down just to clean out kitchen plug hole and some white distilled vinegar and this creates some kind of reaction I don't know the science behind it but it sizzles away and it cleans out the plug hole and I'm just boiling the kettle as well so that I can rinse that through in a few minutes so while I'm waiting for that to work I'm just spraying down the sink and giving it a good polish and then I will pour down the boiling water and this should clear out the sink completely <laughs> So now moving on to the three drawers that we have in our kitchen, I'm just wiping it all down and taking out the cutlery organiser. This is just a wee one that we have from Ikea but to be honest when you think about it that should be cleaned a lot more often, um, there are like bits of dust and things in it so I'm just washing it down as the same way that I normally would with dishes and using my dishmatic, getting it nice and bubbly and then I'm just going to put it all back in and tidy up a bit because Oliver does have a tendency to stick his hands in these drawers and try and take out what he can so I need to make sure all the sharp things are in the middle and he can't reach them. And at this point I was exhausted so I was so glad that I'd already organised the other two drawers a couple of weeks before so these were already clean and tidy and had been wiped out and this bottom drawer here, I actually think I'm going to move the last of that stuff out when the baby's here so I can use it for bottles and other baby things. Back to just wiping down these cupboard doors, I can't recommend the Method Rhubarb Spray enough for this. I actually had run out of the pink Palermo one at this point. I had been cleaning for so long and the Rhubarb Spray is just like the ultimate air freshener. It's so, so nice. So although I'm doing the clockwise clean or anti-clockwise in my case, I'm actually doing the top half and then working my way back around in a clockwise direction underneath. So I'm now at the cleaning cupboard and I'm just wiping it all down, taking all the products out. And I had actually organised this in some kind of way um, a few months ago, so I'm just trying to tidy it up a bit. These little baskets are just a pound from Poundland and it helps me just to separate into like 
washing like laundry kind of products and then other cleaning products in the other basket which means I can just take out whichever one I need depending on what jobs I'm doing and then I've got another one up the stairs for the bathroom as well. I am not kidding by this point in the deep clean I was exhausted and I found it really hard to even get up from the floor but at that point when you're almost three quarters of the way done you just don't want to stop and you can call it nesting if you want but I was determined to get this place completely finished. So as much as I love this little cupboard it can be really hard to keep it clean because all the crumbs all fall down in there so I'm just having to take out each of the shelves so that I can sweep it properly. I would ideally use the Dyson for this just to hoover it all up but because of the metal railings inside it's actually easier just to use a brush and sweep it out. <laughs> Finally on to the last corner, obviously I've done the oven side of it but just the cooker and the cupboards underneath are all that is left to do which is so exciting because I know they're not going to take me too long. So I'm just going to wipe down all the kitchen worktops and the tiles. I actually got Andy to help me because my bump was restricting me quite a bit to get to all the tiles. <music> Because we really don't have much storage space in the kitchen, I'm really going to try and make an effort to look up some storage hacks and make more use of these cupboards because I know that we could have things hanging on the door or maybe like a couple more storage boxes or something in here because we really do struggle for space in this kitchen. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just wiping it all down and my little helper is making the most of the fact he's actually allowed to take stuff out of this cupboard because normally he's getting into trouble for it. So. He's just helping me empty the other cupboard and it sped up the process quite a bit so thanks Oliver. It's just a final wipe down of the glass on my doors. I'm just using window lean and I can definitely say that this little silky window clean cloth is definitely my favourite to use on the glass in our house. So just before I give my floors a sweep and a mop, I'm actually just going around all the edges with one of these wipes. I usually use the big floor wipes from Home Bargains but I didn't have any so these ones are slightly smaller. But I always find that you can really get into the edges if you just do it by hand before using the spray mop because obviously the spray mop is so big. So I'll just use a wipe and go around the edges of the tiles and also along the skirting boards and around all the edges underneath the kitchen cupboards. <music> And then this is always my favourite part of a clean, firstly because it means I'm finished and secondly because I absolutely love the smell of the flora. The one that I'm using at the moment is orange and cranberry, it's a really nice Christmassy scent but linen fresh is my absolute favourite and I just mix it with water, use it on my floors and it makes the whole house smell so so fresh. I'm also going to link the spray mop below because it is my most treasured possession, I absolutely love my cleaning mop and it just makes life so much easier. And there we have it, that was the longest clean I think I've ever done and the place probably doesn't look too different but I know that in those cupboards there are no hidden secrets, the whole place is as clean as it could be and I'm so so happy with that. I feel like I've created a lot more space as well by throwing things out, my oven is clean and my microwave is clean and all my drawers are organised as best as they can be. So. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As I said, I'm going to be doing more deep cleaning videos as the week goes on. I'm going to be going room by room and cleaning everything out to make way for the baby and for the new year. So if you want to see them, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.